for my chicken tikka pie, I've already cooked some sliced onions and peppers, and now I'm frying the chicken in the same hot pan. I'm just going to add some tikka paste, some chicken stock, and then return the peppers and the onions to the pan. For the full recipe, click on the link. It's already starting to smell really good. Now I'm going to be adding some low-fat natural yoghurt. You could use full fat if you wanted, but don't use a 0%, otherwise it might curdle. Here, I've just dissolved some corn flour in a little bit of water. I'm going to add that into the yoghurt, and that's going to help stabilise it so that it doesn't split as it warms. And then just tip the mixture into the pan. We're just going to cook it for a minute or two just to warm it through. And I'm just going to stir through some chopped coriander. For the pastry, I'm using phyllo. I think it's a really good choice for a pie. It's lower in fat and it's really nice and crispy. I'm just going to lightly spray the pastry with some sunflower oil and then cut it into long strips. And we're going to scrunch up those strips so don't worry if they're not too even. And then just taking the top layer, roughly crumple them and pop them on. And continue to spray and crumple until we've completely covered the top of the pie. And then if you want to, you can just give it a last spray all over the surface just to make sure you get some lovely golden colour. And then pop that onto a tray. And then bake that for 20 to 25 minutes until it's golden brown and cooked all the way through. And for more lovely recipes, don't forget to click to subscribe.